Kastiat Security Commission yang kejela Kelaksong yang kejengelang mentang kesengi Banyak keren yang kekam Haka baidai baru syongsuk syongsan yang kejela U Menteri Rangbak kejela U Baderu U Chairman Kastiat Security Commission U Dr. Makul Sama Haba keren bagi lahat patai kebor U layat hu Baka State Security Commission Kelaik keren yang kejengdan kam Ban penkelan yang kebenta Ban pentikna Baki runar kin tiang yang keaan U layat hu Ban alor kejeng penkelan yang keaan yang kejela Ka komision kalai ekran ru haka bahidai Kemula wan penstead ya kejeng tokit Bat kejeng pengat ya kirunar Kebudan keti haki kam tambor Ya ki kena ki kentai haka jela Ula ong baka komision kalai ekran Ya ki laat kelinti Haka ba ki bor pulit kin penklan ya kejeng terikam Kena ba kirunar ki batmu ban le Ya ki kam tambor kin tiang ya kaan So the state security Komision Today we had a privilege to sit again and in course of our discussion one is that okay what are the action that has been taken on the basis of certain decisions which were arrived at in the last meeting and the commission was appropriately briefed now there are a few things one is uh, how we are strengthening the police organization in order to ensure that the whole internal security apparatus is capable of meeting the challenges and how we equip the police organization uh, that is again to ensure that the internal security apparatus is uh, strengthened in a manner that uh, it can uh, ultimately uh, fulfill the responsibility vested with them. Then the issue of uh, further strengthening the whole training mechanism to have better efficient management of the whole men in the organization revolved around the whole issue of training. Uh, we want to have most efficient police organization in the state. Efficient to deal with various responsibilities with which it is vested, whether it is to deal with the whole overall uh, dealing with petty crimes, then uh, with a special focus on the crime against uh, women and children and how, while doing so, the organization, the police, along with other line department, in partnership with the civil society organizations, should engage in much more aggressive sensitization program, awareness program, to sensitize the people about the law of the land, and therefore, uh, what are the measures put in place by the government, by the police, so that that itself will actually create an enabling environment where people are aware of the existing law and which can also act as a deterrence. You know, many a time what we understand is that in some instances of crime, uh, if the perpetrators of crime would have been aware that the law enforcing agencies are uh, there uh, to go after them and they are efficient enough to actually apprehend them and then the whole uh, process of law, course of law uh, is such that they cannot get away scot-free, then you know it acts as, a, acts as a deterrence. So idea is that uh, to ensure um, involvement of people sens in sensitizing people which also can act as a deterrence in respect of the crime against women and children. The special focus was there in the discussion on dealing with these issues and how to strengthen the organization in such a manner that the investigation and charge sitting pertaining to all crime against women and children are expedited so that there is no further delay in all the pending cases pertaining to the crime against women and children. Similarly, you know, the issue of dealing with the whole law and order situation, the issue of dealing with uh, the activities of uh, terrorist organization, ban outfits, those were discussed. Hakbai Dewi bagi jingmi kebor naga sengking aktiar kanyau terap National Liberation Council ban kerjaan yang kejingki lintiral jangka kesiu. Wat ban airu yang kitiar jing penbetai nak keliang Dr Mukul Sama Uloong bagi kerajaan jela kan sengam jeliu bah ban toket halor kejingkam ke HNLC. Uloong ru bagi kerajaan kelab tha yang tanat pulit ban ngam jeliu halor kene kejing penmi kebor dek HNLC. Bat banwat ya kejeng sisa, lakadon sisa ni em kejeng yadai hapadeng ke HNLC bat ke KSU.
ka HNLC ha kani ka tayo kala pan mi ya ka jingtho sha kilat pathai ka bor ba ka kloi ban pin biang tiar pan mithai intensive explosive devices sha ka ki issue lada ka dan kam ha ka jing ki prsha jang ka ya ka lintiral ka barang ya ha do kini kisngi thanks for brief to the security uh, commission today and uh, the whole internal security apparatus is sensitized in this regard uh, what uh, what uh, the security commission was briefed on was also on the issue of uh, the claim of the ban outfit that some have approached them some of the members have approached them so uh, you know the organization is on the job the police is on the job to uh, have further uh, to go deeper into this whole thing and they will do their job to find out what exactly is happening and then uh, the whole system is activated to deal with this situation and uh, the state security commission was uh, reassured that uh, the whole internal security apparatus is capable of dealing with these challenges and uh, they are uh, further ensuring that uh, all measures required to further strengthen this internal security apparatus to deal with such kind of challenges will be put into place hakawai pat kaliang dr mokol sama ulong baka sarkar kanam khat ya kren satya ya ka khasi student union lada kam sange shwa ya ki kam donor ban thang ying thang kali namar ga jing prsha ya ga jing sna ya klinti rel ulo ong ba um khmi linti ba ka ki issue kan le ya ki kam kum ka kun hon donor ban pin julor ya ki mar ki mata bat pan pau ba lada ka ki issue ka kwa ban ya kren pin ben ka dei ban sange shwa shi sindan ya ki kam donor namar baka sarkar kam kwa ban ya kren bat ki bat ki ba le ya ki kam bi an u doctor mokul lo ong ru baka sarkar ke nyakren bat ki brew ki ba pun i ya ke jinglong jai jai na ke bentak ke jingba jong pat ba ke jela ringkat ke jing sengau ket kli ke nong yalam ke dei ban sim ya ke jingket kli na ke bentak ke jingba ke jela bat ki pat ba om ban thau de ki kam jing kulmar no we will have we will have talk we will have discussion as and when required now here the instance of this uh, few uh, you know arson and criminal activities by KSU again this is a matter of concern now we did not expect KSU to behave like this rock organization because we anticipated that you know they will always engage in dialogue and uh, express their con concern in the right platform not to go to the uh, you know uh, areas and indulge in arson and all that is not the way it's not a reflective of a uh, you know a civilized uh, you know organization Then, sir, I have always maintained that you see, if somebody is indulging in criminal activities, how will you sit and talk with criminals? <coughs> government has to talk with uh, people who demonstrate responsibility. You know, if government cannot discuss with someone who do not demonstrate the sense of responsibility. Hmm? So they must demonstrate the sense of responsibility and restrain themselves uh, from these kind of activities. Uh, the leadership should take the responsibility it is for the larger good of the state larger good of the people habakran pat yak lintiral baka jingyo rung jingki mender sak jela nakaleng mentri rangba ulong baka sarkar ka hap ban thau de kiwi pat kilat halor kani susu ulong baka jingtei yak chaka rung jakami ka entry but exit point kabala pun khre menta kam ya hap satya baka jingwan jok lintiral Nomor ke entry but exit point ke deban pet ya ke jingyo rung lingba ki surok Henry na ke bentak ke lintiral ke dan kam da kiwei pat kilat u menteri rang ba ulong ba ha ke ba ya dei ba ke jing sange ke jing sinai ke lintiral un sa bisar bnia ya ke ni la sai ke sngi kum no ban le ya ke dan kam I'm, I'm going to have a review tomorrow see what i have said is that see when we are talking about comprehensive mechanism which is being put in place to deal with the whole issue of uh, illegal immigration and influx you see it's not just the entry and exit point there are many other uh, other measures which are being put in place both uh, you know uh, your through legislative hmm, as well as various other measures including creating the kind of right kind of infrastructures to implement those mandate of the law that has been passed now uh, i have also said that entry exit point which are uh, identified in those locations which was uh, done after a complete study exhaustive due diligence uh, these are basically to uh, look at you know the whole issue of uh, filtering hmm. 
and in other words i should say in order to ensure that okay the movement through routes are uh, ultimately covered through this entry exit point now how do you cover the railway through that entry exit point okay so there will be again similar kind of facility created at the railway stations direction has already been given uh, to uh, provide this kind of uh, infrastructure in every place where there will be a railway station hmm. so that is how it has to be now only when you create the railway station then only you will create the facilities you can uh, create those facilities before the railway stations are made so railway station will be again further provided with such kind of facilities which actually addresses our concern so that is how we have said so it's a question of actually being able to uh, really um, appreciate um, the measures being taken by the government um, it is not that it is just for the